everybody, Rivers here. Uh, just doing a video on one D&D today. Uh, normally I do stuff off the top of my head, but today I did prepare some notes on my phone, so I may be looking at that and reviewing that. Um, they, Wizards of the Coast released uh, a statement about one D&D, uh, the new D&D coming out in 2024. They have a, a UA on it, Unearth Arcana, and there it's on D&D Beyond, so you can check it out and you can do some play testing. And I guess in September they will have a survey on that on D&D Beyond, so you can take the survey and they'll take feedback and through the play testing they will figure out what they want to do for one D&D in 2024 and beyond so the uh, the future of D&D is kind of riding on this I guess and they have a lot of there's a lot of new stuff in there uh, a lot of change little changes I mean it's not a big change but they said they didn't want to go with additions which I don't understand but whatever um, I would have just called it 5.5 .5 and gone from there. They say everything's going to be backwards compatible, but we'll get to that in a minute. Um, first, I want to talk about D&D Beyond and the digital books versus the physical books. And is Wizards of the Coast, are they going to gouge the players or the, the fan base for more money by... Um, charging for the physical book and then charging for the the ebooks on D and D Beyond. That's that's a question that kind of been answered, but not really. It's ten dollars for the I, I believe it's going to be the ten dollars if you buy this the Dragonlance book or the Spelljammer book from D and D Beyond. Then it's an extra ten dollars to get the digital. Uh, personally, I think they ought to put a code in each book, a one-time code, and that way you can go ahead, buy the physical book, go online, register it in your name or whatever, and get the digital copy too, and it's yours forever. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm afraid that Watsy's going to go ahead and gouge people for this to get the physical and the digital copy and I've been talking to people and watching videos on it nobody really knows what what Watsy's gonna do but is it a big money grab I don't know we'll see that's yet to be proven and the uh, now they say the one d and is going to be compatible to 5e which I don't think it's going to be really because the changes to the races, the feats at first level, and more flexibility in the character builds that 5e does not have. They're going to be more powerful characters. So as a DM, you're going to have to bump up your monsters or your your foes, your NPCs to match that, and it's going to cause the characters to be overpowering compared to the 5e modules. Some people say, oh yeah, well DM just has to modify it. And I've talked, I've listened to some other people on YouTube say, no, you're gonna have to do a lot of modifications and it's a pain in the butt. So we'll see what happens there. But the other thing that I'm really concerned about is there's no monster criticals. If you read the play test off the UA. The monsters don't get a critical it's only character players or player characters the monsters or NPCs don't get it it's only player characters and I like the idea of having the monsters or the NPCs being able to crit the player characters I mean I roll in the open and if they see a 20 come up they know they're in trouble and this to me is a way of saying, well, you know, you're not really in trouble now. No big deal. But I just think 
that the, the the improvements they've made to the characters, unless they make changes to the monsters in the monster manuals or, or whatever you want to call it, the, the multiverse, um, unless they come out with a, a new monster manual or rata for the monsters and the NPCs, it's really going to be overpowering for the characters to go in there. That's just my opinion. You know, I may be wrong. I don't know. But leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about all this. Because, like I said, it's... It's definitely going to be different. And I do like the feats at first level. I've always said that they should be able to get more feats. And you shouldn't have to give up an ability score increase to get a feat. I, I never liked that. I like... I'm prejudiced to 3.5 where you got feats at certain levels and I really like feats and they're coming out with first level feats that I haven't seen any second level feats or anything like that but it's interesting that they're, they're, they're talking about doing first level feats that you can get right off the bat which I think is very cool as a player now as a dungeon master I think that's going to create some headaches but I think it'll be more fun for the character, for the players. So we'll see how that goes. Um, trying to think of anything else they they put out that I, I missed. No, there, there is a new race. Um, haven't I haven't looked at that too much, but I'll, I'm sure I'll be looking at it more and more, and maybe try and do some play testing with it, or at least delve into the play testing and. I'll definitely be checking out videos on YouTube about people playing and, and their feedback on it. So, like I said, let me know down in the comments below what your thoughts are on the new one D&D, what you think is going to happen with the Unearth Arcana stuff and the play testing and how it's going to go. Given they have a year and a half or a little under a year and a half to, to it breaks. They're saying 2024, but who knows when? That, that could be almost two years. So they got a year to two years to to play test and to see what they want to keep and what they want to get rid of. But I, I do like the, the idea of the new race. I do like the the changes they made. To some of the character classes or the character races. I'm sorry. Um, they. They did make some improvements. I think that they listened to some of the players, and I really think that it's pretty cool, some of the stuff they have. But I also think from a DM point, it's gonna be overpowering. The, the character's gonna be overpowering for the DM. So they're gonna to have to make some improvements on the other side too, or changes or something. So, but uh, I'm Rivers from Rivers RPG Channel, and Please like, subscribe if you haven't already. I will never ask you for money for Patreon or to support my channel. I do this for fun and I'm just here giving my points of view. And if you can subscribe, I really appreciate it. Comment down below, give me a like, drive the algorithm up from YouTube and uh, let me know what you think. So until See you again. Have a good game.